Hermano de Telehit, nos encontramos en un momento de lujo. Un artista que todos ustedes conocen y admiran se encuentra promocionando su nuevo material discográfico como solista. Tenemos la oportunidad de platicar con Ser Tankian. First of all, it's an honor. Thank you very much for attending this interview. An, it's my honor as well. Good to see you again, bro. It's good to see you. Oh, it's now uh, Harakiri. Tell us a little bit the the most important thing you want to express with this album. Hmm. You know, there's a lot of things I want to express with this record, um, and the songs speak for themselves in that way, and, and people internalize the meaning yeah. once they get it, so I, I don't like to explain too much with the yeah. lyrics, but the concept of Harakiri came to me in to early 2011 with the death of all of the different birds and fish around the planet, yeah. and it was a, a very... Do you remember that time? Yeah, yeah, of course. It was the, Because it was stunning. It was like... It was really sad. There was no explanation. It was yeah. sad. It was like... There was no explanation, and I, I thought it was a, a strong omen of the times to come. And, yeah. and all these questions started to arise, like, why is this happening? And all the reasonable explanations scientists were giving were bullshit, you know? Yeah. They were, they were BS, so, you know, because they, they blamed it on firecrackers, or they blamed it on, you yeah. know, not enough water in, in, in the ocean. <laughs> I mean, not enough oxygen in the ocean and stuff like that. And it was a strong omen of times to come for me. If, if the... If the animals don't want to live here, why? Yeah. Why don't? Why? Why are they going in mass like that? Why are they dying? Why are they committing suicide? Um, what's wrong with our environment? What's coming? You know, animals are very intuitive. Uh, they like when they're when you're about to see an earthquake, you you the fish yeah, like sometimes like, jump yeah. out of the aqua you know the aquarium, and dogs go to higher places before the tsunamis come. Yeah. You know that kind of stuff. So they're very connected to the environment. They know what's going to happen. Yeah. So what's going to happen? So that's why you put it harakiri because society is kind of doing harakiri themselves. You could say that. <laughs> it's 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 yeah. hard. It's yeah. hard, but it's true. Yeah. And and what could be the the biggest challenge about doing this album? It wasn't very challenging at all. Um, it was pretty easy record to make. Um, rock is easy to make. And the biggest so, lesson that this album has given to you so far? The biggest. See, I, I've made many rock records before, and I think this is different because it's you know. Um, it's kind of more punk oriented and, yeah. and more 80s vibes in there and stuff like that. So it's a different record than anything I've made. And it was fun making it. It was like very natural. You know, that's yeah. why it was easy. It was very yeah. natural. But uh, one thing that I wanted to teach myself during the process was to mix better. I usually have another, com you know, I've mixed my own stuff before, but none of my, my own major solo records. Yeah. So I decided that myself and Dan Monty, who works with me in the FCC, that we, were, we wanted to mix this record ourselves. So we mix this ourselves. So and, that was a big learning experience. And and how hard is to find that balance? Because uh, when you bitch. hear, yeah, the, when you hear the album, they have totally different sounds. Yeah, it's you know I think it's one of our. Uh, honestly, right now I'm listening to this record. Forget the songs. Yeah. Forget everything. Just audio balances and sound. And I'm listening to Imperfect Harmonies. I'm listening to Elect the Dead. I'm listening to all five System of a Down records and Serart. I gotta say, this is my best sounding record ever. Not because I mixed it, but because it yeah. sounds fucking nice. <laughs> awesome. Now, about what you doing in the past years. Obviously, last year you did a, a cover from Dirty That Yellow Snow from Frank Zappa. Right. What yeah. could be the, the most important thing that you admire about Frank Zappa? Zappa was incredible. I mean, uh, he always had this statement, uh, uh, talking about music is like dancing to architecture. Um, he was uh, uh, kind of a troubadour, a revolutionary in music. Um, He's made over hundreds, hundreds of records, um, and a phenomenal guitarist, and a great uh, composer, and a great conductor on stage of live musicians. Um, he's done things no one's done, and, and looked at music and art in a very sober way, and, and real way, you know? And uh, so I appreciate that. I, I love his music. And so when I was given the opportunity to do a cover, and uh, I picked uh, Yellow Snow, I, I, I've <laughs> always loved that song. and. And uh, so that was great, yeah. Cool. Now, also, you're a writer. You just released the, the second book, Latin, mm. through Oblivion. Tell us the adventure of doing poetry, if you compare it with what you do in music. Poetry and music uh, sometimes uh, yeah, they go together, are good. Kind of. Yeah, are good bedfellows, but other times they're different. Uh, poetry to me is a lot more uh, personal. Yeah. It's a lot more uh, expressive. Music with lyrics which could be considered poetry to a certain degree, is a lot more powerful. Yeah. Um, I think the in intuitive uh, vehicle of music, along with the words, can deliver a much more powerful impact. But 
the, if you want a, a wide expression, limitless expression, uh, poetry tends to be more rich in that sense. Yeah. So is there any poetry that just started as poetry and then became a song? After yeah, a while? of course. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, stuff in the songs from this record that I borrowed from my poetry books, you know, cool. from uh, Glaring Through Oblivion. For example, the song Butterfly, um, uh, the chorus of Butterfly, Spare Me Denied, Trampled Upon by Submission, Amassed Within One's Own Inhibition, where the only prohibition is love, except for the word love. All of that is from awesome. Glaring Through Oblivion. Um, so I borrow sometimes from my own work so that because sometimes like you, you do the music and you're like wow okay what's the vibe I'm going for here and you start for I read my poetry books sometimes when I'm doing songs just for it to kind of get my mind going on different themes and yeah. subjects you know and usually it'll spark something I put it aside and write something fresh but sometimes it'll be the rhythm and everything will be so perfect I'll be like wait a minute <laughs> this works, work, you know, yeah, yeah. and then you massage it and you make it work. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you write from from scratch. You know. Cool. Now you also get an award from the Armenian Prime Minister Medal. Tell us the experience. Um, yeah, last year, uh, last year was a very busy year. Yeah. Um, I went to Armenia and I played um, at the opening of a nonprofit te technology center named Tumo. Um, uh, and it's it's a great idea, funded by a friend of mine. Um, Anyway, I played with the one of their orchestras, the uh, opera orchestra of, of Armenia, and we had a great, beautiful show. And it was mostly elected at symphony music uh, and some music from Imperfect Harmonies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, got an award, um, the highest uh, Freedom Medal Award from the Armenian government, from the mm -hmm. Prime Minister. And for me, that was a good opportunity to sit down one-on-one uh, -on -one without any press, without any cameras, and talk about the state of affairs in Armenia, some of the troubles that we have in the country, some of the problems that we have, and to address things in a very uh, honest, sober, and realistic um, fashion to see where their heads are. Um, and so I got a chance to do that, and, and it was very uh, important for me to do so. And I got some messages across that were necessary to do so. And I think that it's a great satisfaction, personally, mm -hmm. to, to know that you're helping a society. Well, I, I hope so. Um, I don't I don't know if I'm helping a society, but I, I, I've always been, whether it's in the U.S. or in Armenia or having to do with the genocide issue, I've always been someone who's always looked for the truth, you know, yeah. and have always hated injustice. So when I see people suffering, whether in Armenia because of the economic situation, because of corruption, yeah. because post a lot of the post-communist uh, governments have that kind of hierarchical grafting system that is natural to yeah. the Soviet system. And until they, that completely is removed, the people won't have enough uh, taste of the economic uh, prosperity. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing the same thing in the West in different ways. You know, yeah, we've got yeah, the 99%, yeah. the Occupy movement, uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average at, at its highest it's been in four years. Uh, I just read today on CNN Chiron that uh, house, uh, as far as people in homes, is the, the lowest in, in the last 15 years, yeah. you know? So you're looking at Dow is the highest, least homes that people own in 15 years, all this disgruntlement, unemployment high. It's, it's a similar it's, yeah. thing with yeah, less sure. uh, overt corruption. The corruption in the West is all bought and paid for by multilateral uh, corporations and, and uh, foreign governments that, high case, that hire K Street lobbying firms to you know, support congressmen and, and officials to buy their votes yeah, in our country. I know, I know. And now, uh, talking again about music, of course, a lot of your fans want to know if there are any plans to record another System of a Down album right. in the near future. We don't really have any plans right now as far as recording another record. Uh, it's something that we might do one day, but we haven't really, you know, we've kind of mentioned it, hey, it would be nice to do that one day, but we've never really... We're not planning anything right now. But is there any reason why not? Or it's just...